everywhere in our hair, but what about on the wall? So Tiffany, you've done this incredible Ooh. wall treatment. I know it's, it's like, all oh, right. Yep. So if when you go from the bottom all the way up, just in case there's one person out there that does not know what ombre is, yep. it's 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 a gradation of shades. You're going from the darkest or the lightest at the top all the way to the darkest. It or reverse. Beautiful. Or reverse. Yep. You could do dark to light too. Yes. So this is a special effect. Effect, mm -hmm. Like in your home, effectively, this is what you're doing. You're tricking your eye. Yes. So there are so many ways to ombre. And I also feel like I want to rhyme when I talk about ombre. <laughs> like ombre all day, different ways to ombre. Like you could like, you could Go just crazy. keep riffing, you know? Go I feel crazy. like rapping. But the, the thing about ombre is you jump on the internet and there are so many ways to do it. Right. So that's what's confusing for the everyday person because being a designer, I know what effect I want, mm -hmm. but it's hard when you think you want to get the look. So mm -hmm. I want to talk about how to get the look. We are going to talk about that. Before we do, though, is there is this the sort of thing that you would use as a focal wall? Would you put it on all four walls? Yep. Would you just leave it to one? How would you use it? So it depends on your space. Yeah. Obviously, some people live in a, in a home that has four walls. And mm -hmm. so if that's the case, you definitely want to do it on one wall. Yes. You don't want this to be crazy. No. And then you're in like a... Fish tank, you don't want to be in a fun house feels. either. Like, yeah. where ah! am I? What is happening? Right. Um, and but if it's a big loft space, it could be a whole huge wall. Yes. So I also feel like depending on your light source, you're really going to be tweaking how you do it, mm -hmm. the placement of the ombre, especially when you do it yourself. You can do dominantly light and really just hit the dark at the bottom. Right. So you can really change your levels of how you achieve it in your home based on the space. Right. And know that something like this is very forgiving, but you have to act fast. Okay. And, you know, accessorizing yeah. around ombre, you don't want to get crazy. Let the ombre wall speak for itself. Keep it simple everywhere else. Let the ombre wall do the, the talking effectively. Yes. And then let all your accessories be calm and, and sophisticated. Yes, yeah, she's yeah. the star. She's, she's the, star. the star. Don't try and battle yeah. her. Okay, I let's blue. talk about how, um, and I love that it's blue, it's calming. Yeah. Let's talk about how you actually did it. Because as you said, if you look online, there's so many ways. So many different ways to do it. So many ways, ombres. Okay. <laughs> but you can't ombres, stop. no, I can't. <laughs> so um, this is done all by hand. So I did all this with these three brushes. How did you do that? So I just wanted to show you these are the actual brushes. Brushes I used and nothing else was done with a roller. So when you jump online, yeah, everyone says to do something like this uh, with a roller. Okay, but you so did not use a roller. I did use a roller. Okay. Um, so it's one, two, three, four, and as I mentioned, it can be as many shades in that family. So let's look at our paint deck. It's pretty. And you could effectively just rip it right off the paint deck. Mm -hmm. So pick a shade that you want and get a can in every color. Yeah. Or get a can in all four colors, whatever ones you love, yeah. and then go for it. Why didn't you use a roller? So why is Wouldn't because... Wouldn't be faster? It is, mm -hmm. but it looks stale to me. Oh. I'm, I am um, I'm an artist. And it's more organic I feel, to use the yes, brush? Yeah, and I want it to look like it's shaded like the sky, and it's a little irregular, and it has movement mm -hmm. to it. You don't okay. get any movement in an ombre that's done with a roller. That's a good point. So there's a way to cheat it. So let's do a little in between. So let's okay. pretend this is done with a roller or with a brush. Yeah. You can break up your wall in whatever stages of color you want. So mm -hmm. thick, even, thin, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. And then water is your friend. When I was teaching painting, I always said to my adults, water is your friend. <laughs> because what you're going to do on the in between is actually mix your colors. Okay. So these colors here are going to mix together to bleed here. Right. Right? Right. Because this is the mix. So okay. water is going to be on the brush, really, really wet. And I do not recommend using only three brushes, but I've done this before. Yes. So it was okay for me to do it. I just kept, you know, mixing and mixing and mixing. So you would have for us that we've never done it, a brush for each color? 100%. Yeah. But you start to mix it up in your head. Right. Ombre makes you crazy. <laughs> because you're like, what is happening? How? So what you're going to do is literally just keep the wet paint on the in-between. Yeah. And then just mix your colors. Look, I'm totally making look, you paint on a slant. Sorry but about no, that. No, but no, but it's really good. But you can you can really just mix it with a little bit of water. Yeah. And the other key with ombre is let it dry and reassess. Oh, okay. Because Keep color that time. color on paint changes as it dries. Mm -hmm. So as you're actually doing the ombre, you'll find that you'll notice it changes color because you're like, oh my god, it's drying, it's getting darker. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. So take your time. Mm -hmm. But also know that you have to move quickly because you want to make sure that the paint is wet. So do you want to try? 
Yeah. Do you want to just like get in there and try a little, little? So do my own? Yeah, so okay. this is, you know, I know I always try to get your hands dirty. This is my job. You know, okay. I always get so excited about making you messy. Well, it feels good though. It right? feels good to just freestyle and sort of mess up your whole segment with doing my own projects. <laughs> well, I it think freestyle, freestyle is another way of putting it. And another thing I wanted to say was I knew everyone would re respond to blue because blue is a really happy color. It's a happy color. It's also an in color. But you can do ombre in any color color you want. I just right. don't think ombre and brown is great, but anyways, um, <laughs> you know. Depends but, on what you're looking for. Right. What you're trying to but get, But you really vibe. could ombre an entire paint deck. So right. pick a shade that works in your home that you want to feature. This could be your feature wall. Right. And then have fun. You know, who doesn't want to go to the paint store and say, give me one of every color? Yeah. Right? Yeah. All of it. Like, isn't that dreams? And you probably, depending on the wall, you don't need, I wonder, do I go there or Right, there? exactly. This is what mm. I wanted you to experience. Okay, I'm gonna go here. I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm gonna keep it safe. So if you're looking at what Tracy's doing, she's only gone with three colors. Yeah. And that's okay too. There that's are, all right. This, this is the cool thing about ombre, and I always like to demystify these DIYs because there really are no rules. Right. There are great suggestions, but doing it your way is always the best way. Okay, so now I'm gonna mix. Do I have time, JC, to mix? Go for it. Am I, was yes. I, did I do that the wrong way? You did way? it great. Okay, thank you. Okay, see what's happening? I just wanted affirmation. <laughs> this okay. is fun. And a little bit of that. I think it's so important that people see that you're doing this right now right. on camera and it's that easy. You know, see, doing look. something easy, guys. There we go. It works. <laughs> Yes. It's not bad.